briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1993, a legal battle emerged when a woman was sexually assaulted in the ladies' restroom of the Best Western Pocono Inn. The victim was part of a team hired as disc jockeys for a social event at the hotel. The ensuing trauma compelled her to file a lawsuit against Penn Stroud Hotel, Inc., the hotel operator, and Best Western International, Inc., the franchise to which the hotel belonged. She claimed that both entities were negligent in providing adequate security, making them accountable for the assault. Initially, a lower court had granted summary judgment in favor of Best Western International, Inc. Believing that she hadn't been granted a fair opportunity to argue against this decision, the woman appealed the ruling. She contended that either an actual or apparent agency relationship existed between Penn Stroud and Best Western, which should, in all fairness, implicate the latter in the liability for her assault. The case, Miss Kowski v. Penn Stroud Hotel, Inc., escalated to the Superior Court of Pennsylvania. The court had the task of examining whether Best Western exercised control over Penn Stroud's operations and if it portrayed and maintained itself as the owner-operator of the hotel, tantamount to a master-servant relationship. The court upheld the initial decision favoring the franchise, reiterating that Best Western was not liable for the actions of Penn Stroud. They pointed out that despite the use of the Best Western trade name and the franchise's periodic inspections, there was neither evidence of day-to-day -day control nor portrayal of ownership by Best Western over the hotel's operations. Additionally, the agreement between the two entities specifically defined their relationship as that of independent contractors, not master and servant. In conclusion, the court ruled that Best Western couldn't be blamed for Penn Stroud's negligence. While acknowledging the doctrines of apparent authority and agency by Estoppel, these legally did not apply in tort cases surrounding negligence that resulted in sexual assault. Even though Judge Weand, a member of the bench, filed a dissenting opinion, the court eventually relinquished jurisdiction, cementing Best Western's exoneration from the lawsuit. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.